You know, our next guest spent a year documenting the lives of Elvis impersonators. Mm -hmm. John Padgett made the film Almost Elvis, Elvis impersonators and their quest for the crown, and he is here joined by one of the best impersonators. He's also featured in the movie Irv Cass. Irv won the 1999 Images of Elvis contest, and <laughs> I've got to tell you, I, I have ne I've, I'm not a huge Elvis fan, but I watched this documentary and absolutely loved it. It is fascinating. What, why'd you do it? I guess I'm really attracted to topics that on the surface wouldn't appear to deserve a documentary, <laughs> but mm -hmm. when you dig deeper, you really find it to be the essence of America. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And it's pretty interesting the way you uh, detail and chronicle the lives of all these people who, re and Elvis impersonators are a national phenomenon, aren't they? They're, they come in every size, shape, and color. <laughs> really, and there's 35,000 of them mm -hmm. around the world, so it's nothing short of an American pastime. Now, Irv, you're recognized as one of the best in the world. Uh, if you asked him, he'd say the best. Well, I think he is this, okay. this year technically the best. Well, I'm one of the best. There's a lot of great impersonators out there. Um, but there's, there's got to be a certain point when you're sort of starting out that people do sort of go, so you think you're Elvis, and you have to sort of go, no, they that's not They still do that. It. They still do that. Well, well, uh, how does that we do feel? it uh, for the most part. It's, it's not uh, anything more than bringing back memories and making Elvis fans smile. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I that, personally, there you are in the uh, in the documentary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I personally am one of the guys that I do not. I wear a baseball cap and shorts when I'm in public. I do not walk around trying to look like Elvis. I don't wear a jumpsuit down the street. Uh, <laughs> but there are people I, who they, think they, they, they are Elvis. Yeah, and those guys are the ones that even the Elvis fans frown on. So trust me, if you feel they're goofballs, the Elvis fans feel they're goofballs too. Right. Well, we should <laughs> point out, you know. it was 23 years ago today that uh, that Elvis died. And in, in Memphis today at Graceland, they you know, they have a whole week's festivities. Oh, yeah, yeah. Obviously, great, John, obviously, John, there's a, there are a lot of people out there. What, what, what was it about Elvis? that just, you know, he, he still lingers to this day as their king. I, think oh, just, I just about started my cart on fire with Elvis. <laughs> I'm burning your sandwiches. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, Elvis. <laughs> That'll be for the kids' dinner. All just right. leave it right there. <laughs> I think just that he was such a famous, um, an uncommon yet common man, that he uh, never forgot his roots. He right. came from a, a, a poor upbringing. And even when he became wealthy and, and famous, never forgot his roots, and loved entertainer. his mama, and was a great entertainer, right. mm -hmm. and just very well loved, even to this day, very missed. You know, on, on National Public Radio this past weekend, I actually heard an hour-long program on how on comparing Elvis to to saints and how people make their pilgrimages, <laughs> and how I mean. Truly, that is how much Elvis and the idea of Elvis has permeated our society on so many different levels. Now, when you're talking in the documentary about people uh, in their quest to become the best Elvis impersonator, um, you say that there are, there are a lot of things that, uh, that the judges look for. The looks, the attitude, they say, is one of the most important uh, things. Looks, mannerisms, voice, obviously, costuming, uh, stage presence. How much do the costumes cost? This one cost me about $1,200. Uh, I got one that cost me... Uh, the Aloha Huff and White Eagle outfit that Elvis wore. Mm -hmm. That's with all the beading on it? Well, well, no, it's got an eagle on it. It's, it was in the Aloha Huff and White concert. Uh -huh. It cost me about $3,000, so it's quite Ooh. expensive. Wow. But uh, nobody will ever be Elvis, but to be good at this, uh, for instance, like with the Legends of Concert show in Las Vegas, right. Right. you have to be an Elvis, not impersonator, but an Elvis illusionist, mm -hmm. where people look <laughs> at the stage, and for just a short six or seven songs, they see an illusion right. of Elvis. Will you give us a taste of an Elvis illusion? We have a microphone. We've got. Here it uh, is. We've, you've sure. got the outfit. Here, just hop over there. Okay, I'll sure do that for you. All right. Just give you a little bit. <laughs> well, since my baby left me, I find a new place to dwell. It's down at the end of Lonely Street and Heartbreak Hotel. I'll be so lonely, baby, so lonely. I'll be so lonely, you could die. Hey, are you okay? Uh, Although it's always crowded, still can find some room. Broken hearted yeah. lovers to cry out in the gloom. I tell you, I get so lonely, baby. So lonely, I'll be so lonely, you could die. 
All right, here we go. Shake it, Elvis, shake it! I'm shaking it, baby. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. You ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. You ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Yeah, baby, take it off. All right. If Thank I was you. wearing underwear, I'd throw it at the stage. <laughs> very nice. Ern and John will be back uh, at the end of the program. Thank you very much. Once Wonderful. again, the documentary is called Almost Elvis, Elvis Impersonators and Their Quest for the Crown, available on video only. It is great. It sure is. And by the way, we'd like to thank uh, Tony Snow for giving Irv his outfit for today's festivities. Straight ahead on Fox & Friends, 13 minutes before the hour. If you like tough guys, we got one of the toughest. We sure do. Actor Michael Madsen joins us live and he's going to take your phone calls but i'd ask him something nice because he is tough. tough he ain't nothing but a hound dog baby <laughs>